we just got brand new teasers of both Terminus Island and Liberty Falls coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies. There's so much to cover, I can't even think of a catchy intro. Let's just get into it. Everything kicked off when this video started playing on all of Call of Duty social media, from YouTube to Twitter, I'm assuming TikTok, but this is all from Liberty Falls. And of course, it hints at thetruthdies.com. We have this uh, we have this woman with the piercing in here kind of going crazy. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything in particular, but going through here, we have some more 90s advertisings here, but we have breaking news. Here we are at the White House here, just like what we would expect here. This is a face of the lady just right here about to speak. And now we have Mr. Peaks from the mystery box. It looks like the mystery box glow, if you ask me. So, hey, mystery box, Mr. Peaks, very nice. Right here, a lot of people are saying this is 811. Lots of people, 811, 811, 811. But uh, this is just a right here going on. We can see some looters and people in here. And I'm actually going to skip forward a little bit here to show you this is not 811. It's 1811. So here's the back of the riot officer shield. It's just 1811. We don't know. I haven't seen. We've been looking. We've been looking. I haven't seen anybody figure out a connection with 1811, but there are more numbers that we need to talk about. So we're going to try to get through this as quick as we can. We've got some eyes, some cell dividing, you know, images. This is an image of Liberty Falls right here. You can see zombies walking past here or potentially humans were inside this kind of caged off area, sort of like what we expect to see on Liberty Falls, you know, when like a store closes in the mall. They have that metal thing sheet protecting the mall from people breaking in and everything. So it looks like people or zombies are running past this. It looks like there's a whole horde of them in the back there. You can see just a ton of people right there. We've got blood on the ground. We've got fire. We've got what looks like people just trying to seek refuge. And right here, just for literally one frame, this took me forever forever to find you can see liberty falls right here or liberty something what even does that say you know at first i thought it said f but now it looks like a p p m liberty p m Liber oh man but it's literally just for one frame where we get to see that plus it looks like something else pops up but i don't know if that's just like a reflection like a transition into this next one but look at that liberty right there we've got some more cell stuff right there we've got that we've got zombies just not on, on people, which is nuts. This is clearly Liberty Falls versus Terminus Islands because you can see set in the daylight like we expect Liberty Falls to be. We've got another just blink and you'll miss it transition. Who knows if that's anything? We've got a zombie falling down on the ground right there moving forward. We've got more people. It looks like people. Is that people running right there? A zombie right there kind of flipping out right there. Oh my goodness, it's nuts. And then we've got static and then we've got Project Janus right here on the TV. The truth dies. Now, when you go to the truth dies.com, actually, this has replaced the truth lies.com, which was originally branded for all of Black Ops 6. It is now rerouted to the truth dies. So, this is 1000% just marketing zombies. We have a couple channels that we can go through, and this is the first one. Just like the campaign reveal, we have all of these things. Now, these are the same as the campaign reveal. People are like, ooh, Adler and Nuke and uh, or Nuke and all that stuff. But that's exactly what we got in the liar up here, too, which is really good. This is exactly what we got with the campaign trailer. But then it cuts a little bit here. You can see some static, and then we've got a Mr. Peaks up here in the corner. I'm going to try to play that back. There you go. You can kind of see the Mr. Peaks right there. The bunny that we know and love from the dark ether right there. We got more Mr. Peaks right here. And then this cuts to what appears to be a Terminus Islands thing. Teaser trailer. This could be from the intro story. This could be for the intro mission or the teaser trailer, whatever. But we have some mysterious figure. Now, this looks like it's like a bald head or a blonde head. We don't really know who this could be, but they're looking at all of the security camera footage and you can see clearly it is February 19th, 1991, a couple years before Dr. Janice is born and given away like we know from Modern Warfare 3. And this is three in the morning. It looks like three in the morning if they're doing like military time. We could see somebody doing push ups that looks like maybe Ravenoff or maybe Weaver. I think it's actually Weaver because I don't think was Ravenoff arrested. I think it might be Weaver in here on the left here we could see someone I think just lying down in their cell I don't know it's like four seconds four frames here you could see like someone's arm move maybe but then obviously we have the zombie hand which looks so sick cut to this where we see four characters here we see two people doing push-ups this one 
looks like Dr. Gray, if you ask me. We have somebody sitting down here, and this looks like Dr. Strauss. Again, this is like a monocolor screen right here. You can see uh, cam four, three, two, five, all this stuff. It's all the same time. Who knows who these people are? That could be Dr. Strauss. That could be Carver just sitting right there. This could be Dr. Gray. This could be Weaver. Who knows? And then a couple images here. We have a beating heart. Now, we know that Requiem or Richtofen or whoever was doing DNA sampling and DNA playing around with Requiem's DNA to get Dr. Jansen. And here we have like a, I, I, I apologize. I don't know if this is like a CT scan or an X-ray. It's not an X-ray, but you know, we see a beating heart right here. So clearly this might be where Richtofen did all of these biological experiments on Requiem, all these uh, leads here. You can see, I think this is Dr. Strauss. He has his hand on his head and he's kind of wincing in pain right here. So maybe this means like, oh my goodness, they've done experiments and Dr. Strauss might die or something, but here we get close-ups of all of the other people. You know, we're doing push-ups here. We're sitting here contemplating life here. We've got some static, and that's where it ends. And now we can go on to channel two. This is the weather channel right here, and this was pretty unsuspecting until, of course, it started getting really staticky, and then it switched up a little bit, and here you can see just a brief little thing in Mr. Peaks, and if you listen closely, You can, in my opinion, really clearly hear the numbers 7, 6, 11, 5. Now, some people hear like 7, 6, 7, 5. Some, I, I hear 11. I hear 11. It's so obvious to me that it's 11. We have no idea what these letters mean, but a lot of people, I was in MZC's chat here, and he was saying, or I think Nuke in his chat, Nuke is a big fan of the show, or the channel here too, 1776, so 7, 6 is when America started, is, you know, liberty, and then obviously 11, 5, 1, 1, 5 is from zombies, and we know as a pre-order bonus, we're going to get some 1, 1, one five camo or something so Liberty Falls 76115, but this is clearly looking at Terminus right here. So I don't know, people, we're not sure of what these numbers mean. So feel free to speculate in the comment section below, but clearly we have the Terminus Island right here. And something that I didn't realize until just now, lightning strikes it. Now, lightning really isn't that big of a deal, except for the fact that it usually in classic zombies denotes a Wonderfizz machine. Now, obviously in stuff like Mob of the Dead, it's just kind of there for flair but you know we can't let go of anything at this point here and additionally when we go back to the weather channel i've isolated two stills from right here we have this still and this still when mr peak starts coming by you can see in the top left corner we have ch uh, channel two weather right here local radar and then when we start getting manipulated we have channel two wither and local radar you can see the c the uh, A and the R are backwards. This could just be flare. This could be nothing. C A R car. Do we have to do something with a car? No, I don't. I don't know what that could mean. But it's fun stuff right there. And I really like. I don't know why I like Channel Two wither. Like zombies wither away and die and all that stuff. I don't know. I thought that was pretty cute. Now this is all we originally found until I noticed. Hey, we have some latitude lines right here. We have ten north and fifteen north. I don't know if they're degrees. I think they're degrees. And so I loaded up Google Earth because Google Maps couldn't find latitude and longitude. And here is 10 degrees north, 15 degrees north, right here. And this is really darn close to where we expect Terminus Islands to be. Because if you don't remember, at the very end of the Outbreak Easter Egg and the Forsaken Easter Egg, we got these two maps right here. We've got this map right here. This is where we redirected the rockets from the Outbreak Easter Egg into here. And additionally, at the end of the Forsaken, this is where Dr. Peck pointed to on the map which from a brief overlook looks around right here. This is about where he was pointing 10 to 15 degrees. He very well could be pointing over here. And of course, in that cut scene, this guy says there's nothing there. And when we look at the Google Earth, yeah, there's nothing here, 10 to 15 degrees around here. Like there might be stuff around here with these islands, but doesn't look like there's anything there. However, however, these latitude lines, I think say 20, 40, and 60, which is actually way more north than we thought. This is what 20, 40, and 60 look like on the globe. So it's a lot higher up than down here at 
10 to 15. So while it's close to where we expect this to be, it's not exact. Now that about does it for channel two. Channel three has nothing. This is the typical off air thing right here. However, when we go to channel six, we get a little bit of a jump scare here. If you have your volume turned way up, you get a little jump scare, but we could see a couple frames of a Terminus Island zombie that we've seen before, and they very clearly have orange or yellow eyes. I think it's yellow eyes because that's been the default with Cold War and all that stuff. So very, very cool stuff here. However, it goes on. If you inspect the element and search the truth dies on the truth lies website, you can see this code, which says the truth dies at nowhere is safe. Survive if you can. I am not at all an inspect element guru or anything, but somebody else found that. I wish I knew we were in MZC's chat and we were going, somebody else found that. And finally, when you're on the Truth Lies website and you power out off the TV, it goes to a black screen and then you get a Mr. Peaks jump scare, which is really darn cool. Now I'm gonna play it again for you just in case there's any like audio that you need to hear. So just be ready for a jump scare scare here. To me, it just kind of sounds like the normal Mr. Peaks sound when he jump scares you in like Firebase Z. And I gotta say, look at how gorgeous this TV is right here inside the dark ether with this ethereal stuff going on. This is so good. Now, what does all of this mean? What could we look forward to? Well, I imagine over the course of the next couple days, we are going to get more channels from The Truth Dies. We're gonna see more hints and more clues. And I bet you a reveal trailer, a zombies reveal trailer is just around the corner now. The last time the Truth Lies trailer went up, we were only three days away from the teaser trailer that Noah had with the television in his room on a live stream. So stay tuned, I will be covering all of this Black Ops 6 stuff, it's really exciting. And now I have a confession to make. In yesterday's video, where I was supposedly like kidnapped and I put Morse code and I put the braille at the very end of the video right here, I was just having fun. I'll be completely honest. It, it, it felt like something fun to do. It felt like something that I could use to engage the community with and all that stuff, kind of play along with everything going on here. So I apologize if I was misleading anybody. However, we have news about the entire Milo situation going on now. If you've seen that video, you're up to date with all the stuff Milo's going on. So he took this plane thing to DC, he got to a hotel, he found this handwritten note with more like stuff to uncover and that's where the video ends. Another puzzle, but then he released this video talking about the new Black Ops 6 Zombies teasers and he said this. Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here, Call of Duty just about a new Black Ops 6 Zombies teaser unrelated to what I've been chasing down with the Dyer's cast here in Washington DC. Yeah, I'll be investigating the Dyer's cast stuff in some videos and then wherever this goes in other videos, just trying to get to the bottom of this weird, crazy rabbit hole that just keeps on getting deeper. Now you can interpret this a little bit differently, but it really sounds like the Black Ops 6 zombie stuff has nothing to do with anything that he was doing. So all the website stuff, all of the YouTubers disappearing and putting cryptic messages, it feels like its own separate independent thing away from Call of Duty. And especially after getting teasers like this from The Truth Dies, we can see a huge difference between the stuff that Milo's doing and this official stuff that Activision is doing. And so moving forward, I'm basically treating Milo's thing as a completely separate thing other than Black Ops 6, including all of the stuff from Pizza and Noah as well, because they had a similar format where at the end of their stream or somewhere in their stream, they supposedly got kidnapped and then they released a code and all that stuff. But then we also have to talk about Noah's Cold War stream, which felt very much like a Black Ops 6 teaser with Morse code and a thing to figure out. and. Uh, it's a little weird, but I'm going to move forward with caution and skepticism until I can start seeing a connection. From right now, I'm gonna go off of official sources, all of the numbers that we heard here in this teaser, in this trailer, all the images we saw here, that is what I'm going to use as concrete evidence, as stuff that we need to investigate. Anything that's esoteric or weird or doesn't quite fit in, I'm gonna be skeptical of. And again, I just wanna sincerely apologize if I threw anyone off or kinda made this even more confusing than it needed to be. But like I said, we've gotta be super close to a reveal trailer. We're gonna get our answers here. It's gonna be fun. Let's enjoy the ride. This is an awesome, awesome marketing thing. I love all of this weather stuff. I love the channels and everything. It's just so exciting. Let's enjoy the ride. And if you want even more information regarding Black Ops 6, be sure to check out this video and stay beautiful.